Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic foodie adventure just for you. I am in the overcast town of Baldwin, Ontario, Canada at Dina's Cuisina. A few months ago when I was doing a stealth camp at Timbo Slice in the little town of Sharon, uh, I was recognized by a gentleman by the name of Chris and he introduced himself, really nice guy, and he said he owned a food truck in Baldwin just north of Sharon and he made an incredible smash burger topped with mac and cheese. Let's go over, say hi to Chris and grab that incredible burger. Come back here and eat it with you. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Chris, how you doing, man? Good, how are you? All right, finally made it up here. Yeah, amazing. I cannot wait to try your signature double smash burger Perfect. with the, uh, you guys put the mac, mac and, cheese, and on. cheese on top. Do you mind if I videotape you making it? No, That'd be cool? Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> First of all, tell us about your food truck. We when opened it, up last season, Okay. so this is our second season here. We're a little bit different than a food truck in terms of do a lot of our stuff homemade, uh, our own beef. Wow. Three cuts of uh, different types of beef. I can't tell you what it is. Don't tell us the signature. Nope. And uh, <laughs> that's what makes us a little bit different. So. Okay. And you do a variety of things. Smash burgers, your your top seller, right? Smash burgers are our most popular. Okay. We do our wood oven pizza. Unfortunately, today it's going to rain, so we need to turn it on. Right, okay. I'll have uh, to come back. <laughs> hey, lots of special features we do during the weekends and long weekends. And it's all on social media, and it always changes. So. Right, so yeah. check you out on Instagram mainly, right? Instagram That's the number one thing where you put up your hours, and if you're open or you're closed. Yeah. And then that shoots off to Facebook, I believe. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's do this. All right. I was thinking I'm definitely gonna come back and do like a 24 hour and then kind of stay in Jackson's Point there. Oh, that's perfect. And uh, do some stealth camping there, but eat all the food here. Cause I definitely want to try, you have like a, I think you have a smash burger poutine. Smash burger poutine, we do a pierogi poutine. Oh, pierogi poutine. See, I can live here for at least a, <laughs> at least a week. Slices of cheese. So we just gotta wait for these to toast up nice. Sure. Because the beef's fast, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, because yeah. when you squish it like that, it gets it gets a quick uh, Probably about 30, 40 quickly. seconds. You're right, yeah. yeah. So this is the longest process right here. Right. <laughs> it's the toasting of the bun. And I love those things that they have. It just makes it easy to, to yeah, like, so get it all buttered up. We use clarified butter. Okay. So it doesn't burn. Right. But it helps toast though. It helps toast really nice. Yeah. So I just got here and you just opened, so just opened. I'm so glad there's no lineup. <laughs> and I'm first, but all those people over in the antique place are gonna smell this burger cooking. For sure. And then they're gonna be here any minute. <laughs> Must have been hot in here the last couple days. It has been oh, very oh boy. <laughs> Where's Chris? Oh, he's passed out. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the fridge. And what did you do before this, Chris? So I've been in the car business for about uh, 25 years. Okay. As a sales manager. All right. Yeah. And then I decided to, I've always loved cooking and feeding people. Awesome. I was always the guy cooking at the barbecues, the family reunions and all that. Right. So uh, COVID hit and I started this. Nice. Yeah. And loving it. Well, hopefully uh, when people see this video, they'll uh, come up in droves. <laughs> That's what Chris is hoping for. We do get pretty busy on the weekends. No doubt, eh? Yeah, so. And this is like pretty much uh, a main artery road, uh, Highway 48, Markham Road. Very we, busy. Yeah, we used to come up here to go to the cottage when we lived in Scarborough. Yeah. It was uh, much quicker to come up 48 than go all the way over to the 400 because of the traffic. Oh, look at those vines, guys. This is a signature sauce. This is our signature sauce. Secret. It's mayo base. Mayo base. I can tell you a little bit. Maybe okay. some pickle juice. Okay. Some onions, garlic powder. I'll stop right there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't tell me anymore. 
for our patties. Three types of beef. Sure. And the timer's on. not stick to the uh, the oh. iron thing, right? Yep. And all we do is add a little bit of salt. Not enough. All right. And you can actually see it cooking up through really easy. So this is what Chris carries. Let us know in the comments below what would be your favorite drink to eat with this monstrosity. Uh, I think I'm gonna go cotton candy. I don't drink pop normally anymore, but when I do drink pop, I always try something new. Bubble gum, orange, cotton candy, grape, cream soda. I love cream soda too. But uh, yeah, let's go with the, I haven't had a pop shop in a while. It's a nice treat once in a while. So what I order you? Um, I, yeah, I'm paying. What you owe me? Let's put this together. So, yeah. 1921 with your tax. All right. Should I let him keep the change? Yeah. Keep the change, buddy. 
Yeah, yeah man. Awesome. Starting the day off with a with a big tip. <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. He said he said it's a ten napkin meal. That means it's going to be ten times better than a one napkin meal. Look at this. We've got lots now. All right. Let's go eat. Thanks, Chris. We are back in the car, ladies and gentlemen. We've got some good news for you, ladies and gentlemen. Check this out. Let's get the trusty brand new steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? Look at this beautiful tray. I wanted an upgrade and also wanted to keep one in uh, the uh, Sprinter and I want to keep one for Rusty. I'm not sure where I'm going to keep this one. I think I'm going to keep it here. You guys can decide. The brand new one for Rusty, or we can put it into the Sprinter. Let us know in the comments below. So, there you go, oh my gosh, it fits perfectly. Again, I, I would rather not use this side with the cutouts, uh, because I have more options here. I can move things around. I don't want to slide something and it hits an edge and falls over. All right, shut up, let's eat. I almost don't want to use, I'm not gonna use it. I was gonna use my place map, but not today. So let's do that. Oh, out comes the sticky stick with all the cheese on it. We'll put that over there. Got our napkins underneath. Oh boy. You guys want to go in for a close up? Oh yes, you do. Okay, guys, slowly moving into this awesome lunch from Dina's Cuisina over here. We've got our The Pop Shop Cotton Candy. And it is condensating. That's how warm it is out here. And that's how cold this pop is. 1969. Nice. Who was born in 1969? Let us know. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The signature double smash burger with mac and cheese on top. Bacon, double cheese, double patty. Oh my goodness, on that toasted bun? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I can't stand it anymore. I can't stand it anymore. Let's eat. Let's open up that pop first. Do you remember where I got this from? Who can guess where I got this from? Bottle opener, magnet, comes in handy. Let's wish there was a place on here I could actually magnetize it to. Just has to sit there for now. Oh my goodness. Cheers guys, thanks for watching all my videos. You guys rock. Let me also know if you want me to do more food trucks and also let me know where you're uh, favorite uh, food truck is located so that I can go there and do the same thing for them. All right, here we go. Mac and cheese first. Appetizer going down. Mmm, crunchy. Cheesy. No cheese pulled today on that one. Oh, that's good. A deep fried mac and cheese. Mmm. It tastes like a craft dinner mac and cheese. But it's frozen, breaded, deep fried, super tasty. Got our 10 napkins. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is going to be a treat and a half. Look at that. Oh, nice and greasy coming out the back. That's the way you want it. I'm going to take a bite of that side, but look at that. Okay, you can scratch it. You can sniff it. The rest is mine. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eat from this side because this is the side that's like, oh, look at the juiciness. Is it coming out? Is it coming out? There's one. Oh, drip. Come on, you can do it. Squeeze. <laughs> it's like one little drip. Hang in there. Oh, there we go. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I'm getting that signature sauce pickle and then that super awesome beefy texture. It's like crispy on the edges. <gasps> Whatever three meats he's using. Mmm. <laughs> Deep fried bacon. <laughs> what an awesome burger, man. Holy cow. Look how thick it is. Wow. <laughs> mm. 
my teeth weren't sharp enough to cut the bacon. One. Oh, drippity drip drips. That is a fantastic burger. I'm fortunate they're on the other side of the lake. I live in Innisville. This is uh, Baldwin. And we're just south of a little town called Jackson's Point, and that's where Jim Carrey was born and raised. Some people th seem to think that it's Newmarket, but it's uh, I'm pretty sure it's Jackson's Point. I think he, I'm not sure if I saw it in an interview and he actually said it in the interview. Anyway, let's keep eating. Oh my gosh. It's easy to bite. The double cheese, that double sauce, it's just wonderful. Wow. So like I said, there's a guy coming in now to get some food, construction worker. Um, so I want to come back and do a 24 hour uh, stealth camp and then eat pretty much all my meals here. He doesn't open till 11, so we might have to find a place maybe in Jackson's Point that does either a breakfast or at least coffee. Uh, but I'll, I'll uh, find somewhere in Jackson's Point to stealth camp. There's also like a, a public swimming area. So uh, we can bring the bathing suit and the underwater cameras and uh, maybe do some, see if we can go and find some garbage and possibly some treasures. Especially if it's hot like today. It's gonna have a thunderstorm later. And it's gonna be, um, I think it's gonna be 20, 27 or 28 degrees Celsius. And with the humidex, it's going to be 35 degrees Celsius. So, ask Siri to convert that for you. Mm-hmm. The onions are adding a little tang to it. I can't get over that beef, man. Mm. Two. Got the next one ready. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's juicy, delicious, savory. Wow. I'm loving the, um, kind of like the, the grilled areas where it's kind of crispy almost. Mm -mm. I think I just ate the, almost the last piece of bacon. There's one over here. Three, I'm not wiping every single bite, so. The cotton candy is okay. I prefer, um, I think next time we come here, I'm definitely gonna get the uh, cream soda because that tastes better than this. Sounds like thunder coming. Could be a truck, don't know. Wow. That is phenomenal. Just a few more bites of this piece of heaven that Chris has created. If you live in Newmarket, Sharon, Jackson's Point, Beaverton, those are all the towns I'm thinking about. Even Bradford, man, zip on over here because I have never had anything like that before. Got to clean up before the last bite, which is right here. I'd love to share that with you guys, but since we can't, you got to come up and buy one yourself. For all of you one o'clock in the morning, shout out bite people. That one was especially for you. Gotta clean up and then go thank Chris for that amazing burger. Yeah, cream soda is way better.
kind of tastes like soap. Chris, that burger was phenomenal, dude. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Whatever that secret recipe is, keep it and don't tell anybody. No problem. So, what is the actual address of this place? 23906 Highway 48, two kilometers north of Ravenshoe. Awesome. Thanks again. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Have a better weekend. You too. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. All right, guys, we are done here in Baldwin. It is starting to pour rain, and I just got in the car, it's almost in the nick of time. Glasses are all wet. Get to use one more of his napkins. Thanks, Chris, for all the napkins. I got to to dry off now. So that was a six napkin meal. And I threw every, everything already in the garbage. All right, guys, on my rating scale, we're gonna have to give Chris's signature double smash burger topped with the mac and cheese a go out and get it now. Plus, it was seriously awesome. And he's like, are you sure it was good? I'm like, dude, I said, don't ever share that recipe with anybody, but make sure you leave it to somebody in your will so that uh, people of generations to come will get to enjoy that amazing burger. So like I said, guys, if you want me to come back here and eat all day long, let us know in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up. Let us know how badly you want to see me eat as much stuff on this menu as I can. If you want to show your support for me doing these amazing videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that awesome playlist I dumped down over there and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.